Today, we're gonna to talk about preparing for your painting time. Ways to remove obstacles to make your painting time as efficient as possible. So I don't know what your schedule is like, but for me, painting often has to fit into small windows of time. So I've thought through some ways to prepare myself so when I do have time to paint, that I'm ready to go, I'm feeling inspired, and I know what to do. So, let's talk about planning ahead. One of the best things that you can do to prepare yourself to have good, productive painting time is to pick out what you're going to paint ahead of time. I can't tell you how many times I waste a good chunk of my free time trying to decide what to paint. So, when I have a small window of time during the day, I'll start going through my reference photos and I'll pick one. And that has saved me so much time. So think ahead about what you're gonna paint. You're taking some of the question marks away from your painting time and answering them in different in another part of your day. Another small thing you could do to help yourself would be a small little thumbnail sketch. Just a little sketch a few inches apart. Maybe you're thinking about composition. Maybe you're thinking about the values in your scene. You're gonna be way ahead of the game if you show up for your painting time and you know what you're gonna paint and you've already done a little thumbnail sketch. So, the third thing I'm gonna mention is a practical one. Fill up your water ahead of time. Have your paper in order. So, I know for me, I order watercolor paper in large sheets. If I have to tear paper before I start painting, that's just another obstacle. It's something else that gets in the way and, and can slow me down from painting. So some of you might not have a dedicated space to leave your stuff up. So if you don't have a dedicated painting space, at least you can have your paper ready to go. If you tape your paper down to a surface, go ahead and have that part of it done. Anything you can do to, to remove those obstacles ahead of time, go ahead and get those things out of the way either sometime during the day or the night before. So when you show up for your painting time, you're ready to go. So the other thing I would say is try to make a clear transition between whatever else you have going on in your day into your painting time. So if you're busy with life, it's hard to flip the switch and be creative and feel inspired and ready to go as an artist. So if you take a couple minutes Turn on some music that you enjoy. Maybe flip through an art book that you like. Just get your mind kind of going in that world before you just jump into a painting. If you have this intentional transition between normal life and your painting time, that can really help you. Because there might be times where you say, well, I just don't feel like painting today. And maybe you don't. And it's okay to give yourself some breaks, obviously. But there, also, there might also be some times where you're not feeling exactly inspired, but if you just start thinking about painting a little bit, maybe looking at paintings that inspire you, listening to music, some type of transition, it might help you start to feel inspired and you might go ahead and practice or paint even when you were on the verge of almost not doing it. Another thing I wanna mention is I want you to think about what thoughts are constructive for you before you start painting. And maybe it's not so much what to think about, but it's what not to think about. So I find it important before I start a painting to not think about the business of being an artist. Don't think about Instagram. Don't think about who might be watching or who might see your painting when you're done. Try to get lost in the process. Try to enjoy mixing the paint, enjoy applying the paint on the paper, the expression of brush strokes, the exploring of composition, just celebrate this thing that you love and try to think about those things rather than how's my painting gonna turn out? What is it gonna do for me? What does it mean if my painting is a failure? Try to remove those things from your head. So imagine the difference that this can make. If you're thinking this way for a month or two, you'll look back and you'll think all those times that you painted when you wouldn't have, all the progress that you've made when it would have been easier to do something else, to 
you know, at the end of your day to sit down and watch TV or whatever it is, however you unwind or spend your time, think about the difference that this could make for you if you're planning ahead, you're being intentional about transitioning into your painting time, and then over time, that's really gonna add up. It'll make a big difference for you. I hope you find those tips helpful. One more thing I wanted to mention, if you haven't had a chance to watch my video about eight tips to avoid overworking your painting, take a look at it. I've really enjoyed hearing the feedback from people that have watched that video. You can follow the link below or you can go up into my bio and Instagram and find it. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.